this video we'll discuss assessment of colonic lesions assessment of colonic lesion is very important to minimize the risk of recurrence and to detect the appropriate management and to minimize the risk of perforation colonic lesion assessed either by surface topography using Barris classification or lateral spreading tumor classification and assessed also by surface pattern by high definition electronic chrome endoscopy using kudu bit pattern nice classifications or sinus classification after assessment of colonic lesion by surface topography or capillary pattern you can detect the morphology related to submucosal invasion Barris class 03 or 02c or 0 to A plus to C lateral spreading tumor with non granular type or granular type with dominant nodule more than 10 mm, could bit pattern type 5 and the nice type 3 or sinus capillary bit pattern type 3. Cross morphological features that indicate some mucosal invasion spontaneous bleeding, surface redness, sclerosis, all changes, white spots, exudates, and fold convergence. After visual assessment of colonic lesion, we can classify colonic lesion either by non-invasive lesion or invasive lesion. Non-invasive lesion managed either by endoscopic mucosal resection or piecemeal mucosal resection. Invasive lesion managed either by endoscopic submucosal dissection or surgical resection after tattooing 3 cm below the distal end of the lesion. Next lesion they are the lesion in the difficult sites or the lesion with non-lifting sign. Difficult clonic sites are ileocecal valve, very amendicular area, very diverticular, closed to dentate line or ileorectal anastomotic sites. Lifting sign, lifting sign, some mucosal injection of saline to elevate the lesion on caution of fluid, used to make sure that the lesion amenable to resection or referred to surgery, allow the flat lesion and the broad-based side lesion to be removed completely and safely.